I'm having a lot of uh, conflict about what I should do and what I should believe. And I'm scared to death to go home. I don't want to be in the situation to have to go home and say to my daughter, Daddy's not going to be living here anymore. Uh, me and my wife had a big fight, which we still haven't resolved. I spoke to my daughter, when my daughter's uh, five and a half years old. She said, oh, I'll miss you, Daddy. I said, oh, I'll miss you too, darling. I really love you. And then said, can I speak to Mummy? Uh, I said, oh, I'll miss you. She goes, oh. So I said, you miss me? I've been really busy. I want to be with my wife. I love my wife. But we don't have a, that many things in common. We've got a lot of different things that we value and that we're, that we're interested in. What you, what's going to happen when you go there? Have to make a decision? Um, what's changed? I'm working even harder than I'm doing, you know, really early mornings to, to late nights. I've got outside interests as well, which she doesn't like. What are your outside interests? I play in a band. But you could be there because you could give up the man. Yeah. And she'd like you to do that. Yeah. What instrument do you play? Guitar. Tell me what it feels like when you play the guitar. Look at that. What, what did you just think? Like, it's astonishing. Yeah, it's astonishing. That's a great word. It's like being a god. It's like being a god. Yeah. And when you go home with your wife, how significant do you feel? What do you think the chances of him giving up the band are? No. No way. No way. He'll give her up before he'll give up the band. We had a fight about that about a year ago. It was a case of, you will do something about this or else. And we came to a compromise. And what was that compromise? That I would um, only play, you know, three times a month, something like that. I see. She's saying, here's something that makes him feel like a god, and the maximum you can be godlike is three times a month. And here's what I want from you. By the way, I love you. But she wouldn't see it that way, I'm sure, because what she's saying is you're not here with your family, you're not here with me, you're not here with your kids, you're not here with whatever. She has a different perspective, fairly. But I want you to see his window on the world first. Do you love your wife? Yes. Why'd you pause? I'm questioning it. Yeah. The reason he's questioning it is because he's not fulfilled there. So if I'm not fulfilled, how could I love her? And if she doesn't want me to be completely fulfilled, how can I love her? And even if I love her, do I, I don't want to believe I love her because then I'm trapped. How far off am I? Bang on. Well, if I asked your wife, what's her name? Andrea. If I asked Andrea, score Neil for me, how significant does he make you feel? Let's do that. I want to switch hats. You're in her body right now. Mm -hmm. And I'm asking you, Andrea, tell me about Neil over there. How significant does he make you feel, zero to ten? You know, when he leaves, never comes home, makes the band more important than you are. He knows how you hate that rock music and he wants to go play it anyway. Maybe a three. Three. Does he love you? Yes. He does. How loved do you feel, though, these days, zero to ten by him? Three. Three. And how certain are you that he's going to stay and love you? Eight or nine. Eight or nine. How certain do you feel, though, in moments about that? I think at eight. You're thinking as yourself right now. How many ladies agree with me? Raise your hand. This is where you're deluded. How much variety does he bring home to you? Surprise, desires, playfulness. You don't expect to serve you, to light you up. Zero to ten. Five. Five. So how much are you guys growing together? None. Zero? Zero. How much do you feel like he's trying to contribute to you? From your perspective, Andrea. Probably zero. So here's a man who wants to contribute nothing to you. On a zero to ten, thinks you're a three in importance. On a zero to ten, thinks you're a three of love. Yeah, give you a five of variety, but he's sticking around at an eight. What would you want to do to him, Neil, if you were her? Change him or get rid of him. Well, you're thinking like a man with a get rid of him part. Now, he is the father of your daughter. Are you really going to just get rid of him? No idea. Yes, you do. Is he the source of your security financially? Yes. Are you going to get rid of him? He's no. the father of your daughter, and he's the source of your survival. Are you going to get rid of him? No. No. What are you going to do when you feel insignificant and unloved and uncontributed to and not growing with? What are you going to do? Make him change. Make him change. You're right. How are you going to do that? What tools do you have in your arsenal? Make him stay at home more often. How are you going to make him stay at home? 
Give him an ultimatum. Give him an ultimatum. What's the ultimatum say? It says it's, uh, you, you spend more time at home and you don't go off playing with the band. Or? Or I leave. And take your daughter. With you. Or, no, she'll probably say, or you leave. And I'll keep your daughter. Yeah. What's her nature? Not when you're frustrated with her, when she feels herself, not when she's stressed, what's her nature? She's very creative in her own way. You know, she's, she's into art, she paints. She doesn't do it often enough because she always says she's not good enough, even though I say, you know, the stuff you do is fantastic, let's put it up on the wall. You should sell this to a gallery, you, could, you should exhibit, oh, I'm not good enough, I'm not good yeah, enough. But, but that's the female form. Women do that with each other. Oh, yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Oh, no, you're, no, you're better. No, well, I'm not better. You're better. That's one downsmanship. She's begging for your attention. Yeah, which I give. I don't know, but yeah. she wants so much more. So do you like that nature, that artistic nature? Does that appeal yeah, to you? Yeah, I love it. I love it. In fact, isn't that part of your nature? If she follows it, but she represses it on herself. No, she's begging for you to be her man and show her the artist inside. She's begging for that. <laughs> goals in life. Her goals are to? No idea. I have no idea what her goals are. So you can't leave. You have no clue. You've been too focused on yourself, even though you're a good man. Until you've gone and given everything you have as a man to fill up those six needs with her at tens, you can't walk away. Because you haven't done what's necessary and you know it, that's why you're on the fence. Because if you'd really done everything, you wouldn't have left because you're a smart man and you're a strong man. What does it take for her to feel loved? What is she really after in this life? You fill her up so much that she wants to give to you now. And she says, honey, go to the band. Go, go do it twice a week. But you won't know until you give completely and totally. No holds barred. That woman needs to be lit up. And even if she wasn't the right woman for you, the next 90 days should be the greatest 90 days of her life where never has a man given her more attention and focus and caring and love. And you tell her after those 90 days, this is what I need, honey. Can we make this work? And you'll know the truth at yeah. that point. What do you think? Fantastic plan. But first, fill her up like she's never been filled up, then decide. Give him a hand. Like I was yeah. very low on the list of priorities. Even though I would never admit that. But now it's completely switched around. So I just think it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> we have a winner. <laughs>